Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to change and organize the colors on your Google Calendar. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to be screen recording on my computer to show you guys everything that I'm doing. First I'm going to be working on my computer and then I'll be showing you guys how you can do it from your phone. It's a little different on each, but let's go to my computer first. Here you can see my typical Google Calendar configuration. You can see all of my colors over here on the left and these are all different calendars. That is how I get specific colors that are not already there. And so you can click on one of these and it will show you all the different colors that they just automatically give you from your computer. There's a lot more options on your computer for colors than there are on your phone. On your phone, I think there's about seven different colors that you can choose from, but from your computer, they give you a lot of different options, but you can also then add any type of color you want, any tone, and that is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. So I just created all of these brown ones last semester. I used pink and orange, and this next upcoming year I'm going to be using a different color palette. So I just go and Google this color hex. What I actually Googled, let's see, which is color hex codes and the very first thing that came up was this website color hex so then you can go to palettes popular palettes and see if there's any color combinations you like there and you can also just create your own so I just added these skin tones color palette to my Google Calendar and now I'm going to be adding these pink color palettes so let's go ahead and start on, on that I'm first gonna go into create other calendars so create new calendar and I like organizing all of my colors to be next to each other when I'm choosing them so they all show up alphabetically so I'm just going to type in a letter of the alphabet before I type in my actual name I like to name my calendars by color just so I always know what I'm choosing but you can name them differently if you're say going to make all the same type of event, say birthdays. If you're going to make all of your birthdays pink, you could just name them birthdays. And then you can remember that, but for me, I just like having the color be the name of the calendar. So I'm gonna do this first like peachy color. I'm just gonna name it peachy. And like I said, I will go ahead and see what letter did I do last? F-G-H-I. So I peachy. Then I went ahead and created several more calendars with the names that I wanted for the colors that I wanted them to be in. Okay, so right now you can see these colors on the left. They're all random colors. They're not the colors that I actually want them to be. So I need to exit out of the settings page from where I'm creating new calendars and go back. And then I'm going to go here and you can see all these on the left. And I'm going to hit those three dots and then go to this add custom color plus button. So you can just mess around with it. You can choose whatever colors you want to do. So I titled this one peachy. You can always go back and change the name, but also you can create your own peachy color. But I like making sure that it's exactly what I want it to be. So I'm going to copy this hex code and then paste it right here. And then hit save. So it's that nice peachy pink. So then this next light, light orange, I'm going to do that same thing, go copy this and then I will paste it right there. And I'm just going to copy and paste all of these until I have the colors that I'm wanting. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to a blank page. I have my summer pretty free. I haven't created anything. So when I create a new event, I can just drag to create a new event and I'm going to go select what calendar I want it to be under. And this is where I was talking about with the names. I like having it the names of what I want it to be because you can't see the color when you're choosing what calendar you want it to be. And so I'm just going to go ahead and choose that peachy color I said. Beautiful. Next one I'm going to do is <laughs> light, light orange. Very pretty. This is just testing to see if it's showing up exactly how I want it to, because sometimes they don't always show up the exact color I'm wanting them to be. Okay, so these are all the colors of that palette that I just created. I think it's very beautiful, very beautiful tones, and you can just create new calendars like that. I also created this brown palette. So I'll show you guys that brown palette. So here are all those browns that I created. I honestly actually think that's really pretty when you put them all together. Here's the browns that I did. I think those look really good together. And then 
I'll create one more color set just to show you guys. And if you feel like you've run out of letters of the alphabet, you can always do A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, and those will show up at the top of your list. So I'm just going to go create new calendars. Let's see what blues I want. So then I went ahead and created all the calendars I wanted. I looked at each color to make sure I was naming it what I wanted to really name it created those calendars and then once those calendars were created I went ahead and copied those hex codes and brought them back in to actually make those calendars the colors that I wanted to be. And so after I did that you can see I went ahead and showed you guys what that palette looks like right here and there it is. Okay so then whenever you want to create an event with the color you want you just create that event, you can drag it, you can also hit create to add a new event, and then you'll just go right down here to this calendar, and that'll show you your whole list of different calendars that you can choose from. Okay, once your event is created, from your computer you can also change what color it is. You just click on it, hit that little pencil icon, and then you can go and change which calendar it's on to whatever other color you want it to be. You also can change the color of it and keep it that same calendar, but then you have a limited option of 12 colors to choose from. Now I'll show you what it's like changing the color from your phone. Okay, so Google Calendar on your phone is more limited than it is on your computer. You can look at all your different calendars and the colors that you have created, but you cannot create a new calendar from your phone to create a new color. And so you have to make the different calendars and different colors for each calendar on your computer, but you can then select any color when you're creating an event on your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these nice light pink. But the limitation also from your phone is once you have created an event, you cannot edit the color to be one of the colors that you have already created. You cannot change the calendar. And so you can choose one of the 12 default colors that calendar has already created for you, which is like red, orange, green, blue, purple, but you can just recreate the event if you want to change the color. You can put it at the same time and everything, and you would just have to go in when you're creating the event to change the calendar and therefore change the color. And it's really nice creating an event from your phone because then it shows you what colors to choose from, which I really enjoy. Okay, so that is how you add colors to your Google Calendar and make each individual event the color that you really want it to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. If you want more content about Google Calendars, let me know. I know a lot of different hacks and little things that you can do on Google Calendar to make it a lot more easier to work with. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.